There are SEO tactics that worked really well in 2010 that people are still doing today. Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm gonna to share with you eight things that you need to unlearn when it comes to SEO and what you should be doing in 2019 instead. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. That way, when I release more marketing advice like this, you'll get notified. Question for you. Has your website been hurt by some old school SEO techniques? Or have you found out that when you use these old school SEO techniques, for some reason your traffic isn't going up? If that's you, leave a comment below with yes. If it isn't, you leave a comment below with no. I'm curious because if it is, I wanna find out what these old school tactics you're leveraging, because I'll show you what to do instead. The first thing I want you to unlearn is only focusing on external links. Everyone's like, oh my God, backlinks is the number one factor in Google. No, there's a ton of factors in Google and just building links from external sites isn't gonna do you justice. You need to also build internal links. If you don't build internal links, your rankings aren't gonna climb. If you look at my site, you'll notice that I rank for things like online marketing and I rank for things like SEO. It's because I'm internal linking my pages together. If you don't internal link, you're not gonna do as well. And I internal link throughout my content, throughout my sidebar, wherever it makes sense. Those internal links don't just have to be rich in keywords, they need to be more so relevant. So when you find a good opportunity to internal link, even if it doesn't have the right anchor text, that's okay. You need to do what's best for the user. By doing what's best for them, you'll be able to drive them to other relevant sections of your site, so that way they can continue to get education, find out more about your products, find out more about your services, and buy from you. The second thing I want you to unlearn is you can't just write content for SEO. Everyone's doing keyword research these days. Heck, I even have a tool called Ubersuggest that I've released for free that helps you do a keyword research. And you should be doing keyword research. But when everyone does keyword research, like you go to Ubersuggest, you type in a keyword like digital marketing or Google Analytics or whatever the phrase is, dog food it could be, you'll see a list of results of all the other similar terms. But there's an issue. When you see a list of all the other related terms, you may end up taking them and just putting them into your website. Yeah, putting them into your website is writing content for search engines. You gotta reformat your content. You gotta rewrite it. You gotta extend the length. You gotta make sure that you're providing the best experience for people because you don't want them reading your dog food article and just be like, wait, this just has keywords in there. It doesn't teach me anything about the right dog food for my puppy, if it's gonna help them lose weight, gain weight, be stronger, fitter, leaner. All it's doing is just inserting 500 keywords related to dog food and this article doesn't provide any value. So you can't just write content based off of search engines. You need to write content based off of people because Google is now using user metrics in which if someone reads your content, they bounce away because they don't like it, they hit the back button, go to Google search, it tells Google that your content sucks no matter how many backlinks you have and no matter how many keywords you inserted. The third mistake that you need to unlearn is targeting high traffic keywords that have no intent. For example, I rank for terms like SEO. Do you think that term drives me any business? You would think so, but no, it doesn't. Why? Because most people who research that term are just looking to understand what SEO is, how it works. They're not necessarily looking to pay an ad agency. A better term would be SEO agency. Yes, SEO agency gets a lot less traffic, but the people who come from that keyword are more likely to convert into revenue. The fourth thing I want you to unlearn is building a lot of backlinks. Everyone believes that you need quantity. No, you do not need quantity. A good example of this is my friend Todd Malico, years and years ago had a Forex site. And he ranked on page two of Google in less than six months of creating it. Can you guess how many backlinks he built? Less than 20. All he did is was went to the sites that already rank in the top 500 for the term Forex, and he went to those sites and convinced the owners to link to his site. And he got those exact pages that already rank in the first 500 to also link to some of his articles, and that drastically shot up his rankings. It's not about quantity, it's about quality. The fifth one is SEO is about tactics, tricks, and gimmicks. No, it's not. SEO is about putting the user first. If you look at Google, their mission is to make sure that when someone does a search, they're getting the best, most valuable information for them. They don't want them to have to go to five, 10 different pages. They focus on the user. So if you also focus on the user in the long run, not the short run, but in the long run, you'll rank higher. 
The sixth mistake that you need to unlearn is focusing on rankings. Ahrefs did a study, and did you know what they found out? That the number one listing only gets the majority of the clicks 49% of the times. Rankings aren't everything. For example, I get more traffic than some of the people that rank higher for me for terms like SEO tips because of rich snippets. Even though I don't rank at the top, I still get more traffic due to rich snippets. When you get included in that, right, that's what's called ranking zero, you can actually get more traffic. If you also have more appealing title tags and meta descriptions, even when you rank lower, you can also get more clicks than your competitors. It's not always about ranking number one, it's about ranking for the right terms, providing the best user experience, and eventually slowly climbing up to the top. The seventh mistake that you need to unlearn is focusing on keywords in the bad ways. What I mean by this is a lot of people still go after exact match domains. What worked for hotels.com is not gonna work for you. People still stuff keywords in their title tags, their meta descriptions, their content. We already went over why you shouldn't do it in your content. But again, if you stuff keywords in your title tags, meta descriptions, you'll find that, hey, everyone is just clicking on other people's results. Why? Because their title tag and their meta description is appealing. They're using copywriting to appeal to people and get them to click versus just having five keywords in a row that don't make any sense. So what worked for some of these people in the past when it comes to keyword stuffing won't work for you. And last but not least, content marketing replaces SEO. That's a huge myth that's not true. Everyone's like, yeah, if you want rankings, you just need to create a ton of content. Not necessarily. If you don't have a good click-through rate, if you don't have good on-page code, if your URL structural isn't correct, for example, when I removed my dates in my URLs, my traffic shot up. I got over 100,000 extra search visitors per month. If you don't have the fundamentals right, content marketing isn't gonna do wonders for you. Now, if you need help growing your traffic, growing your rankings, getting more traffic, check out my ad agency, Neil Patel Digital. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate if you like it, share it, tell other people about it, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.